pull it. I kept pulling. I'm like, oh. Stuck in neutral. Uh, stuck in neutral, yeah. S I N, stuck in neutral. So we, we don't want to be stuck in neutral. That's the invitation for God to give us something more better, a, a more excellent way. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. That we can begin to shed some things, some old mindsets, some old patterns. So he wants to get us to walk in a whole nother realm. Yes. Amen. Yes. And that's what the cross is supplied for us. The cross is not a safety net for us to get into the next yes. dimension. The cross of Christ was an empowerment for us to stand again. Yes. And we can stand again. We don't have to be stuck in neutral. <laughs> you know, uh, the word uh, uh, resurrection means anastasis. It means to stand again. And the power of his resurrection will cause you to stand again. I don't care if you... You know, the Bible says if a man fall down seven times, he's going to stand again. Yes. Yes, Lord. So the verdict is not out. Yes. Tell, tell your neighbor the verdict is not out. It's not out. <laughs> There's more to my story. You hear me? Yes. But we got to be able to respond to God. We can't be set in our ways. Now, verse 32. Now, Berzelon was a very aged man, even four, uh, four score at 80 years old, and he had provided of the substance of man, man am, the great man, and all that. Okay, I get out of there. Uh, he said, come over with me. What part of that? Next verse. And the king said in the verse, come over. Come down over with me. In other words, come to a higher calling. He said, I will feed you with me in Jerusalem. Now, he got to he, he tell King David of all his weaknesses. Huh? We, can, we ain't got no excuse. Well, I'm 80. Now, who cares? <laughs> Bless God. Hallelujah. Why? You know, uh, 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 Sarah was at uh, 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 a rambunctious age. Yeah. She was at the end of her rope, according to us. But the Bible says in Romans 4, being strong in faith, she gave glory to God. Yeah. You can. And this rascal was only three quarters of the way done anyway. Come on. 80 years, he, yeah, am I right? 120 years, he was promised. Yeah. He still had 40 years left. Yeah. But he was there, I'm not going to spend my next 40 years in Jerusalem. Oh, y'all know how we get. You know, I'm trying to tell folks you can prophesy. I ain't prophesying. No, he called me the other day. What kind of what you in? What, what you doing? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Who told you you were naked? <laughs> what kind of conversation you having with a serpent in the garden? Wow. Who told you that there's an age limit? Yes. When we know in Acts 2, he said that he's going to pour out his spirit upon oh. all flesh. Yes. Yes. Your sons and daughters yes. don't prophesy. Yes. Your old men going to do what? Dream, dream. And your young men going to have vision. Dream, dream. So he covered everybody. Yes. The young and the old and the ruthless. Amen. <laughs> he covered everybody. Yes. Uh, I missed my turn. No, 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 no. No, you didn't miss your turn. Uh, yes. he, the Bible said I can walk in wisdom and redeem the time. Yes. Yes. It's not chronological. It's Kairos. Mm, yes. You can have a Kairos moment yeah. in, in, at church. I'm, I'm, all, my, I'm in the spirit. My antennas are always up. God can do what he wants to do anytime he wants to do it. Yeah. But we don't like to go a little further. Yeah. Come on. We don't like the other things because we know if I'm a prophet, I, I got to study. <laughs> if I'm a prophet, I got to buy books. I got to attend classes. I got to make commitments. I know God honors faithfulness. So I gotta come to corporate prayer. Yeah. I gotta come to Wednesday service. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quiet. Yeah. That's the church. You see how quiet just went all the way down? Y'all not coming to the church? Oh, y'all the Methodist church. My mother is quiet in his Methodist church. Am I right? But this is all the stuff we sent up. And it gets us set in our ways. I made up my mind. If I'm on my deathbed, I said, God, just give me enough breath to prophesy. Mm -hmm. Jacob was old as all know what. Mm -hmm. The 
Bible says in Genesis 49, he was getting ready to give up the spirit, to give up the ghost. Prophesied to all his boys. This is your destiny. This is your destiny. This is your destiny. I, that's what I'm going to do, do. I want to be able to prophesy to God. Just don't sneak up on me. <laughs> Let me do it. Am I right? Let me get it all off. I want to give it all out. I know that's what happened to Dad early. Tim early. He was just throwing stuff to me. Calling me up at all kinds of times. Pouring out of his spirit because he knew his time was short. I was like, hold on a second. Let me get a tape. I got tapes all through the house. This is him talking to me. Because I wanted to catch that moment. You're not at the end of your rope. You're at the beginning of something today. Mm -hmm. I don't care. What you're your lifespan can't restrict God's power. Amen. How long you been in the earth? Oh, yeah, you got bad knees. Okay. You got a bad back. Who cares? I'm not saying that for uh, derogatory. Those are kickstands. I told you, it was a lady that God, she prayed for 30 years to God to heal her blindness. And she was an invalid. She couldn't even get out of bed. But she knew everybody that would come to that door by name. Mm -hmm. When they knocked on the door, she knew their name. Because they would bear your infirmities. Yes. The Spirit of God would bear our infirmities, as the Romans said. Mm -hmm. So we sit around here, we disqualify ourselves and oh, tell yeah. ourselves what we yeah. can't do. Mm -hmm. And it's not about what you can do. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's about what he can do in you. Yeah. I said everybody down. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, <laughs> look what my notes saying. I'm almost done, y'all. Pray, Lord, Lord. Let me lead it on. The verse, verse 34. Verse 34. And first I said unto the king, How long have I to live that I should go up with the king unto Jerusalem? Right? That's what we just read, right? And he said, Where the king can express himself through him. So he, he didn't know that God, that uh, David is the type of shadow to us. That, that, that Christ is trying to give us an opportunity to go beyond the Jordan and beyond the old man. Where's the line with the old man? He's a type of shadow of the old man. God was trying to do something. He was trying to reconstitute us through this story, trying to tell us, you know, let's go beyond the Jordan. Let's go beyond the veil. you got to understand that the Jordan is significant through yeah. scriptures. Every time there was a like the opportunity for transition, the Jordan was into play. Mm -hmm. Amen? And, and and Jordan was considered a veil to the promise. Yeah. Jordan was considered a veil. Uh, the name means descender or death. So he said, I ain't ready to die yet, so I ain't going to Jordan. Uh -oh. Some of us say, I ain't giving up some stuff. I ain't going to. Am I right? We talked on yesterday, the men's meeting we had, talking about being exposed to death before the cross meeting. Mm -hmm. Some of us won't go that far. We just go a little way, a little further. But we don't understand that God wants us to go all the way so it can be the end of us and the beginning of Him. Because yes. yes. God never starts when you're at work. God always starts when you're finished. Your finish is His start. You're finished. So if you're still trying to touch up stuff, <laughs> trying to get all everything together, he always waits till you get like this. Come on now. Do like uh, Bert Durant, no moss. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, uh, if you can get me out of this, I swear I'll start. Anybody ever been there? Yeah, I've been there. I got saved twice before I really got saved. <laughs> I'm the guy, you get me out of this, you got me out of it. Thank you, Lord. Go back. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So some of us uh, continue to reject our new beginning. Birth of life rejected a new beginning. We can't continue to reject our new beginning. Now look at some of the things he said in that verse. I, I can't discern good and evil. I'm a hot mess. I can't make no decisions. That's what he said. I have no interpretation. I keep getting in bad situations. I have no convictions. 
I have no core values. And we don't. Most people in the church keep doing the same thing, getting into the same stuff. I'm like, Lord, there's a king in you. There's the Holy Spirit of truth in you. Truth is all in your members. Now acknowledge him. Remember he said he's going to give us the spirit of truth and we, he would not leave us comfortless. You know what that means? He wouldn't leave us as orphans. Which means he won't leave us without an inheritance. So we refuse to allow the spirit of truth to be the deciding factor. We won't let the lamp, the word, be a lamp unto our feet or a light unto our path. Like David said, the interest of his word do what? Get his life and make his what? Make his wise the simple. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have the, the ability or the skill set to, to decode the flights of the enemy and his arrows that come by day and his terror that come by night, then I have to submit to a greater order, which is his word. And like David, I hear his word in my heart that I may not sin against mm -hmm. you. And David also said, because I have your testimony in your word, you'll make me wiser than my enemies. What? Yeah. It's in the Bible, Psalm 119. He will make me wiser than my enemies. So when my enemies come knocking, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I know you already. Right, right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can't tempt me with that. I can't be enticed. I can't be led away. So some folks just enter the temptation. And some whew, fall into temptation. <laughs> Here I am, take me away. Cow gone in reverse. <laughs> Just do it like you know. Because we have no convictions, we can't discern good or evil. We can't discern the times. Sit, those who are mature have their senses exercised to discern both good mm -hmm. and evil. I'm not mm -hmm. talking about the truth of God. I'm talking about you being able to make to adjudicate, to be judicious. Yeah. To be able to be a lawgiver.